That tastes dandy. Oh my gosh. $100 lens. That's worth it though. Look at the trout camera. We got one on the stick that's for hanging. He's gonna hang his hoid. Yellow! Jack the stairs here. We's out here being in the survival mode. Look at this. This. This is a snaz. We's going survival. Now it's very crucial. We are out here in the jungle. You know what I'm saying? We wild animals. These are totally out of the wild. We're in the middle of the jungle. What the hell is that thing? Probably some alien thing. That's a beauty. So now with the squirrels, you know what this is? This is a traditional nomadic snare. We tied this 12 gauge galvanized steel on here. Well, we got our rope going up here where it's like this. So when they grab it, we twist it around twice on a pencil. When they run up here, it gets on their neck. They fall and die. As you see lot last video, we caught ourselves a squirrel. We were good eating that night. Now this thing's gonna go scurrying up. They's gonna say, you know, that was good pumpkin pie today. They's gonna go, <laughs> and that's gonna be a wonderful time. Look at that. You already know this two by f Oh gosh, I see something. Something I cannot unsee. I see some nomadic elements out there. Perhaps, uh, baboons? <laughs> Glowing red cheeks, if you know what I'm saying. They're having a heyday out here. I'm telling you, a heyday. I mean, we, they, they might be for the next feast, you know. It might be the last feast if we die in. Dang, that's some entertainment, buddy. Oh my god, get some footage. I want to look at that for tomorrow. Oh my goldy lord. That's some wild action. Oh, oh. I'm not sure if I can video. Oh my! Oh, that's a monster! Oh my! A no, two foot long dong! Ain't no wild! A two foot long dong! In the wild, you know, we bought a cricket. Oh, cream! Cricket! A light as a mattress. Whatever you're calling them, we got a galvanized steel with this thing. Wrap it around, and then we got a nipple tip of. You know, uh, that's for the baboons later on, but we're not discussing that. We've got this fire lighter. That should make a nice big forest fighter. Bang, baby. Look, he does videos that thing. That's a beautiful tent right there. We've also, we've got our pew pew machine. We can't say that word or we's getting taken off YouTube for shocking content. Just like how we hooked the fish, we got our ad taken down for shocking content. Ooh, this thing gotta take care of the monster coyotes. You know, we don't want to get eaten in our tent, you know? Oh, he's gonna catch some red pepper cheeks. We oh. didn't spook him. Be quiet. Shut up. Holy sh! The kickback on that bad boy! They're running away! They, <laughs> they even get caught! Ugh. I think I got caught unprepared! This is actually from the baboon's titties when their cheeks got red. Now we got a hole. Oh. Now we got a hole in the earth for our fire, but now let's let's go inside my house. I'm in my home right now, and it's a beautiful home. You see, I got my floor, my walls. I got my heating outside right there. Should float over here and heat it right up in here. Got the sunroof right here. Now I've got my door, and boom, we're home. All right, folks. Um, I've been sitting here for hours, I'm saying. Now we're gonna go check the traps. We just about had a squirrel. He got hung on this trap. 
He broke off. He broke the trap off. It was a Brady folks. It's a little blistery sun out today in my eyes right now, but look. Wrap that around twice. Look at that. Oh snap. We cut it too short. Bam. Now it's a perfect little trap. That should catch this one. Hopefully it don't let loose. Hopefully it stays intact. I'm going in my house, right? We got a fire starter. That don't seem to be working. We're gonna gather some kindling right here. Now that's a crispy fire. Should help our day get started. I think what we're burning is green maybe. But we wanna keep warm tonight. You know, hopefully I didn't just put it out. Keep giving it oxygen. I dug a pit. You never want to light your woods on fire. Or you're gonna die more than likely. It's beauty. Hopefully I'm not adding too much, but you're gonna want to slowly have your kindling get bigger so that you can slowly build up to a big for your place for you and your your board you know uh, generally if you're out here for a good week you know that's already warming me up if you're out here for a good week you want to be adding on to it for all week long you never want your fire to go out when you're in the woods uh, because generally you can never light it back up in our case we got enough to if I was gonna live forever out here I would be salvaging these and I would keep this fire going for years you know but once it rains, I suppose I'd be raped. Whatever. That's the state trooper out there. Bang! Out in the neck of the woods, they're driving through the woods. It's already getting bigger. Significantly fast pace. It's dry out in the winter. We're gonna wake up in the morning. Hopefully we got one. We never know. We's gonna snap. I see you. Alright now, I'm going to bed. It's like 12 at night. But I'm going to bed. Um, it's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a rough one. Look. You see that smoke? That, uh, that's uh, my air. It's so cold out here. Hopefully we catch a squirrel by the morning. Cause I'm, I'm looking forward to eat something, you know? I'm a hungry boy. I'm We're all locked up and I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon or you're probably gonna go to hell. My gosh, guys, I just woke up. <sighs> it's so cold, it's so cold. Let's go get Lily. <sighs> The fire's burnt out. Great. Don't get that rope. Oh, dang. Dang. That's some good fire. Yes. All right, that's the cricket matches here. And that's pretty lit. I mean, I'm gonna give these a, a 50 trillion out of 50 trillion. Uh, 100% feedback, but uh, if you are cricket matches, come and sponsor me. Yeah. Oh, listen to that. Put All right. We had a snowstorm come through. I am not staying out here. It, it, it dipped to 18 degrees. was at bay. Good dog. And the wild squirrel eats and feasts.
it's so weird. He was just holding this like a, a 45 seconds ago. Yo, so the squirrels, I mean, we watched the road on video, and now they freaking. <laughs> now it's perfect. No, he's gonna get them. He's gonna get them. We move the snares to where they are, and this has to work. Check it out. That's gonna be moldy. My home is gonna be moldy. See it later. I'm sorry. We didn't catch no squirrels. Everybody traded me. Goodbye. To work now calculate that you got a sphincter of a deal Let's go check this nurse tomorrow morning I came home from my you know coyote trap your light off yellow so I came home from my coyote trapping and yo we got a squirrel I just took down the thing you know little shovel action fell off um, just now because I was pulling him apart and he's he's he died a wonderful death and we always respect our kills out here seriously Steve and Ranella respects this kill we're gonna be cooking with this thing we're gonna light the sticks on fire outdoors catch and cook so I see the issue here guys every time these snares fail me they grab the arm they grab the belly I need to get it to where it grabs his head so I'm gonna take a head measurement because I'm about sick of this maybe if I put some food on ahead of it he'll put his head down before his arm because I don't want his arm through the loop before his head so you understand what I'm saying we're modifying the traps and and we we don't want any squirrels not getting hung the right way and now we're gonna eat this guy up pretty soon here all right, we got our pliers. Um, this is extremely tight on him, this wire here. So at least we know this wire's tightening up on him the right way. There's no way he was getting away there. We got the wire. Now we're gonna have a good feast. We're eating good, we're eating great out here. That's a good chunk of meat right there. We got the, all, all the legs we're eating tonight over our little campfire. Yo, one of these guys did not mate. You see all those white spots? That's not only white, but that's torn off bark on that tree. If they don't mate in a season, they're so freaking angry, they start ripping bark off the of trees. Corey taught me that because he watched some other YouTuber, and that's legit stuff right there. That's crazy. I checked the other snares, we got nothing. So, so much for that outdoors. I mean, I really did do that catch and cook. I slept the day outside, but it did get to five degrees to where five degrees I'm not staying outside, but cleaning them up right here. That's my excuse for having the table here. Corey wants to do a quick clean, you know, and we're cleaning them up on the table right here for our evening. And I'm getting cold. Yeah, that's, that's another thing too, yeah. So now we're gonna get some marination going and we're gonna marinate it overnight. Hopefully it won't be so tough. Nor mushy. <laughs> All right, now that's the marination there. That should, that should be good, but it's an orange juice. Hopefully this is a good, good tasting marination. Last time my rabbit was all mushy from marinade. Yo. Yellow. I good morning people of the south look at that that's my squirrel meat right there now we're gonna cook it up for a good morning meal throw it at Cordy's head now I'm getting right now we're gonna cook this up 
marinated squirrel. Hopefully it's not mushy. Last time I marinated that rabbit, it got real mushy and disgusting. This does not seem like it's very mushy. Seems like it might actually be as tender as chicken, for real. That juice out of it. I cleaned it, I cleaned it, I. Right. Look at that, that's a good plate of squirrel right there. I think it's cooked through. We will see if I die or not. It's a little pink on the outside. Seriously. That tastes pretty dang good, for real. That tastes dandy. A little red in the middle, I'm thinking. I don't know how to tell, you know? That tastes pretty dang good, guys. It tastes really good, but it's just, it's, it tastes a little burnt. I'm not a fan of burnt butter taste, but I'm not, I'm not a cook, so I wouldn't even know how to cook anyway, so. Be a man and eat your kill, because I'm Steven Rennell, and that's what he said. I'm just taking off these burnt chunks. That's honestly, that tastes good, guys. Well, that's pretty red, I think. Looks red, I'm colorblind, so I wouldn't know anyway. But that's pretty good. I'm Steven Rinella. Always eat your kelp. Be a man, eat your kelp. That's some good food right there. I'm pretty sure it actually tastes good. Like that tastes like chicken. Changed it up. I'm eating my kills for now on because, well, last time it was like a rock, so you couldn't really eat your kill anyway. But this is, this is really good, honestly. Squirrel is not bad tasting. It's just, you gotta learn how to cook and I do not know how to cook at all. Thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you pretty soon. Gotta rinse it out. You know what I'm saying?